let's talk about the chi. No, that's Tai Chi. It's a form of martial arts. Chi, with two eyes, stands for Community Health Inclusion Index. You don't have a clue what I'm talking about. Basically, it's a tool. And if your aim is to improve your community so that it's healthier and more inclusive to people with disabilities, then you're probably going to want this tool. But it's not like a hammer, or a drill, or even a saw. The tool, you know, let's call it a tool bag. Inside your tool bag, you will find a level, a pressure gauge, a printed version of the Qi, or you can download the Qi onto your smartphone. The Qi is just one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Yes, what I was going to say, the Qi is just one step in an easy to follow four step process. The Qi is a tool used to assess possible inclusion gaps and the information gathered from the Qi will help to bridge those gaps. Let's check out the diagram that'll explain the entire process. Now, keep in mind that this building could just as easily be a school, a park, a restaurant, or Susie's Corner Store. After you establish what needs to be assessed, like Susie's Corner Store, step one, assess the building using the chi. A B minus? The chi does not actually give out grades after assessments. The chi will point out accessibility issues and provide the user with solutions. And now, back to the program. Step two, the gathered information is analyzed. From that, a plan is hatched and, oh, I'm sorry. I think this is the wrong planning session. That was embarrassing. Where was I? Oh, yeah. After the data has been analyzed, the planning phase begins. Now, here comes the most exciting part of all. Step three, implementation. Not all plans will require you to wear a hard hat, but that shouldn't stop you. And when you're done implementing, it's time for step four, the evaluation. So, I bet you're asking yourself, what can be cheated? Well, we broke that down into three sections, macro, organizational, and on-site assessment. So, macro, think streets and sidewalks, public transportation, and coalitions. Organizational refers to stuff like policy, disability awareness training, and programs. On-site assesses whether a building is fully accessible inside, outside, and all around. On-site also looks at the availability of healthy foods and the access to physical activity. Okay, time for the feel-good ending. That's definitely not what I meant. So, you've completed the process, identified what needs an assessment, assessed it, planned, implemented the plan, and you received a great evaluation. Awesome. Take a little time to be proud of the fact that Susie's store is now healthier and a lot more accessible to people with disabilities. Soak it all in, but not for too long, because your city still needs you. Look there, the chi signal. Somewhere in this city, the chi is needed. But take the elevator, because the gift of flight, it's not in the chi tool bag.